Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's video I take on a new challenge, repairing the charging USB port on my Samsung S22 Ultra. Last month I accidentally dropped my S22 Ultra into the seawater. Seawater doesn't play nice, so unfortunately this damaged the USB port. So every time I try to charge my phone, I would get an alarm stating moisture or debris detected. Luckily, I could still wireless charge it, but that takes much longer and was less convenient while on the go. So if you ever find yourself in a situation where water damage or debris is causing issues with your charging port, this video might just save the day. And you might be wondering if you could do it yourself or if you should pay a professional to do it like I was. Well, I have never even opened a cell phone before, let alone repair one. But I decided to go ahead and take on this challenge and record the process that I went through and share tips to anyone willing to give it a go. Before we start though, please bear in mind that repairing your phone can void any existing warranties so proceed at your own risk. It's crucial to gather the necessary tools and exercise caution throughout the process. The tools you're gonna need are a Phillips screwdriver, some plastic prying tools, and a head dryer, a heat gun to be able to loosen up the adhesive. Please make sure the cell phone is completely turned off, remove the SIM card and the S Pen if you have one. And I gotta tell you, this is the hardest part of the whole process, is to remove the back cover. It took me a long time, especially because I was afraid of damaging the phone, scratching and stuff like that. I used the head dryer quite a bit to try to make things easier, but it still was very hard, very difficult because all the plastic prying tools I had wasn't thin enough. After a while I said, screw it, let me get a sharpening tool and try to get this phone up. I wasn't worried about scratching the phone anymore, but luckily I didn't have any accident, everything went fine. But that part where I am opening the phone with this tool, I'm gonna leave the original audio on so you guys can hear, uh, maybe get an idea of the difficulty I was having and see how much pressure, get an idea of the pressure I was putting on the, on the phone and. Again, luckily, there was no damage, everything worked out fine, but uh, at least you guys have something to compare to.
Now comes the easy part, removing the screws. I have to remove all the screws and it's very easy to remove the charging coil cover. Put that aside and the next thing you need to do is remove the power connector. You gotta make sure you remove that so you don't have problems during this whole process. Next step is to remove the bottom cover the charging port cover. It's fairly easy to do so, but I still use the sharp tool that I have just to get started and I finish with the prime tool, the plastic prime tool that I have. Now we have three more screws to remove. Make sure you put them aside separately from the other ones. There might be a case where they're a different size. I couldn't tell if mine were or not, but I just didn't want to gamble with it. Now we just need to disconnect those two cables and after you do that, the charging piece that we need to remove is exposed. Fairly easy to remove it. We'll take that out and we'll add the new one here in a second. And my apologies, I didn't realize I still had the zoom on the camera so I didn't get a better shot of this. But you can see me using the plastic prime tool that I have and it's fairly easy to remove the port. So there it is removed and now let's compare the both together on the left is the damaged one it doesn't look that bad but it was enough not to uh, be functional anymore and then we put the new piece in there now, all we do now is just backtrack everything we did now come the easy part reassemble the phone screw everything back in Plug all the connectors back, especially the battery you want or your phone will not turn on. And after we do all that, we're going to see if this worked or not. And it's alive. I was relieved when I saw that it came back on. I was so nervous. Now we're checking the wireless. You can see it would take like two, almost two and a half hours to charge it. So that part still works, which is great. And now we're gonna check connecting to the charger through the charging port and it's a success. Instead of two and a half hours, now it's 36 minutes. And if this video helped in any way, please hit the like button subscribe and share with anybody that might need some assistance. Thank you and see you next time.